Good morning, my Smoky Mountain Chickens. How are you guys doing today? It is so cold today. I don't think it's gonna be above 30. So I'm headed down to my chicken coop early. It's like spitting a little bit of snow. Um, I have some broody hens and the broody breakers and I just wanna get them out because I wouldn't wanna be in a wire cage at 30 degrees. And then tonight it's gonna be like 22. So yeah, we're gonna let them get back down on the fresh bedding, be able to go into the coop and just head down to check them because I'm sure their waters are frozen. I have the ones hanging inside their cage and those are actually not heated like I have the ones on, side my, on the bottom of my coop floor. If y'all wanna head down here with me in this frigid temperature, let's go. Taking my little scooper, I'm going to spot clean just real quick while I'm down here. And check everybody. I'm sure they're fine though. They do pretty well in cold temperatures. Um, like I said, you want to make sure your coop is not drafty. Um, you can have, you know, airflow coming in your hen door and then maybe going out the top, but you don't want to have like a window, you know, open here and a window right across from it where their roost bar is because it's just, that's just too cold to be blowing on them all that long. Hey guys. Hey guys, are you cold? I'm cold. Need some gloves. Need some gloves. Need some gloves. Okay. Hey gals, do you guys want out? The water is frozen, I'm sure it is. Oh yeah. We're frozen. Okay. We're not gonna deal with that. Hey girls. you guys want out? You probably don't want in here. This is not your normal crew, but we may move you over to the other side. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, let's go let the other girls out. Okay, we're headed back to the other coop. All right, let's go spot clean and get back inside where my woods because it is cold and I should have wore gloves. My hands are so frozen. As you can see, I'm not really cut out for cold weather. Oh, my lock. Oh, it's frozen. Seriously? Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to walk back up and get some hot water. Well, that stinks. Oh, well. Somebody else hate the cold weather. I try not to use hate. I don't like that word. But I'm using it right now. I'm trying to run back up the hill because I'm so cold. gloves in here. I'm wearing those back down. Let's try this again. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try to be positive. I do have gloves on this time, so make it a little easier. I'm hoping March is gonna be like really warm. <laughs> I'm just gonna jinx it by saying that. Hot water. Let's see if it did the trick. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna have some broody hens today, but I'm not gonna fool with them and their broody breakers just because it's too cold. And the water's frozen and I don't I don't wanna deal with it just because we're only gonna have like one day of like nothing above 30. So just be broody. Pretty 
she's gonna be broody too. Why? Why? It's too cold. Of course, I don't know. I, I agree that it might be warmer in that box. Just stay in there all day and cuddle up. That's what your plan is. I know it is. You'll be back down here, or you'll be down in this box when I come down here later today. I know you will. I know you're not laying an egg. But I can't argue with you today. I just, I just can't do it when it's like 20 degrees. All right, well, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay. We got food. We got warm water. Shelter from the wind. And I'll be back down here later. I am headed back to the house. Everybody looks good. They aren't complaining about it like I am. And actually, only the one girl went back to the nest box. Maybe the others were done being broody. I don't know. I think the cold would, like, be enough to snap them out of it. Let's see. Somebody's coming back. No, it's pine cone. She's going to get back in the right side where she was at in her box. She laid an egg yesterday, though. So, oh, here comes another one. Oh, I'm not going to worry about it today. I'm really not. It's just too cold to work about. Oh, so look what I got in the mail. I got Chicken Guard. And it is an automatic door kit for your coop. So, it was the only one I could find on the internet that has like an auto lock. So, like a raccoon can't come and, you know, open it up and get in. So, I hope it works good. It had good reviews. And as soon as my coop gets done up here, we're going to put this in. Oh, finally back up at the house. It is warm in here, thank the Lord, for our wood stove. It is awesome and feels so good right now. Um, on a warmer note, I have babies hatching, um, Millie Fleur coaching Bantams, and I'm going to be checking my incubator pretty soon. We've probably got some pooping going on, I'd say if not yet, real soon. And babies hatching maybe later today, tonight or tomorrow sometime. All right, I'm going to keep you guys updated. Stay tuned.